Good day children. Let us today learn more about our body, the bones and the muscles in it. Which body parts are visible to you from outside? Yes, there are some body parts that are seen from outside like head, legs, feet, eyes, nose, ears etc. But there are also some of our body parts which are not seen from outside like heart, lungs, brain and bones etc. Feel your different body parts with your fingers. You will find there are some body parts which are soft while there are other body parts which are hard. So soft parts of our body are the muscles. Example of soft body parts are arms, face etc. Whereas there are some hard body parts also. Hard parts are the bones like our fingers, wrist, neck, jawline etc. Children, here we see a very tall building. There are people living in it and some are also working inside it. They feel safe because they know that the building is built to be very strong. Even on a windy day, the building will not collapse or fall over. So what is it that gives these buildings their super strength? The secret is in their framework. This steel framework holds the weight of the building and allows the builder to build it as high as they want to. Our body is very similar to the skyscraper that we saw, which was a very tall building. The secret to our strength lies in our bones. Just like a skyscraper, our body is also built around a hard and a strong framework. Instead of steel and concrete, our bones are made out of very hard material. In a building, we use nails, bolts, glue and concrete to hold the building to the framework. Our body has similar materials such as ligaments and muscles which hold everything together. In movies, we see that the skeletons are moving around, dancing or scaring away people. But the truth is, skeleton could not even stand up on its own. But when it is coupled with the muscular system, the body gets a very firm foundation of the bones and the shape. If we see in detail, we will find that there are various types of bones in our body. Some are long like bones in forearm and thighs, while some are short like the bones in the wrist, foot or ears. Some of them are flat like the bones in the skull or the shoulder blade or even the breast bone, while some are irregular like the vertebrae. So how many bones are there in a human body in all? There are 206 bones in an adult human body. When you were a baby you had about 300 bones in your body. Isn't it amazing? But as you grow older you will have only 206 bones since some of these bones join together. So let us look at all the bones that make up the skeleton system. The skeleton consists of the skull, the backbone, the rib cage, the bones of arms and legs, the shoulder bones and the hip bones. The skull is also called as brain box because it protects our brain. Skull is made up of 32 bones in all. It has holes for the eyes, nostril, mouth and ears. Teeth are attached to the jaw bone. 
only the lower jaw is movable among them which enables us to talk eat etc the backbone or the spine is also called as the vertebral column it is attached to the skull it protects the spinal cord which is an extension of the brain and is extremely delicate the backbone is made up of 33 small irregular bones that's a big number isn't it children each bone has a hole in the center to let the spinal cord pass through it rib cage protects heart and lungs it is made up of 12 pairs of bow shaped ribs which form a cage the rib cage is attached to the vertebral column at the back and in the front to the breast bone last two pair of the ribs are attached at the back and are known as the floating ribs because when they come in the front they are not attached to the breast bone the arms and legs are called limbs long bones make bones of limb the upper arm has one bone and lower arm has a pair of bones the hand and fingers consist of many smaller bones the bones of the arm are attached to the shoulder bone the collar bone and the shoulder bone connect the backbone to the upper arm the bones of the legs are attached to the hip bone the hip bone connects the thigh to the backbone now you must have understood why skeleton is so important it gives shape strength and support to the body remember the 3s shape strength and support it protects the delicate and soft inner vital organs like the skull protects your brain the vertebrae surrounds the spinal cord and supports and protects it the rib cage protects the heart and the lungs the muscles are then attached to the bone which helps us to move a bone has bone marrow in center which helps in making blood cells feel your ears there is a hard part but it is not as hard as bone these are the additional parts of the skeletons which can be easily bent these are called cartilage